In this video we're going to have a look at particles over pulleys in mechanics. So getting straight into the question, it says figure 2 shows a 6 kilogram block on a smooth horizontal table. It is connected to blocks of mass 2 kilograms and 9 kilograms by two light strings which pass over, a, pass over smooth pulleys at the edges of the table. The parts of the strings attached to the 6 kilogram block are horizontal. Draw three separate diagrams showing all the forces acting on each of the blocks. So let's start with the two kilogram block. So part one, and let's draw the two kilogram block here. So we've got two kilogram block. So obviously we've got the weight of the two kilogram block acting downwards, 2G. And upwards, we've got the tension. And now for the six kilogram block, which I'm going to draw here. So it's got a piece of string pulling it left and a piece of string pulling it right. It's got a weight of 6G and the table is reacting back to that, giving a force back of 6G. So let's have a look at the tensions, the bits of string that are pulling the 6 kilogram block. Well, to the left, pulling it this way, is this piece of string. The same piece of string that's connected to the two kilogram block so i'm going to call that t same tension as in this piece of string here and to the right it's a new piece of string so i'm going to use a different letter not t i'm going to use the letter u to signify that it's a different tension so that's that one there finally the nine kilogram block which i'll draw up here nine kilogram block two forces acting on that its weight, which is 9G, and the piece of string pulling it up, which is U. Same piece of string attached to the right of the 6 kilogram block, so I'm going to use the same letter. So that's part one done. Part two, we're going to use these diagrams to resolve and calculate the acceleration of the system, like the question asks, and the tension in each string. So first of all, looking at the 2 kilogram block, I'm going to resolve, and I can see from the system here that the 9 kilogram weight is going to beat the 2 kilogram weight. So the, the system is going to be moving this direction here. So the 2 kilogram block is going to be moving up. So the direction of motion is up. Therefore, I'm going to take up as my positive direction. So considering all forces pointing up to be positive, I get T take. 2g equals mass times acceleration and now for the six kilogram block which is going to be moving to the right so we'll take right to be our positive direction we get u take t equals mass times acceleration and then finally for the nine kilogram block which is going to be moving downwards we get 9g take u equals mass times acceleration. So we've got three simultaneous equations that we're going to need to solve. So let's call them A, B and C. Well I've noticed that if I add all three of them together, A plus B plus C, so add all the left hand sides together, I get T take 2G plus U take T plus 9G take U equals all the right hand sides added together. So 9 and 6 is 15, add 2 is 17A. And notice we get T take T, so the T's cancel. U take U, so the U's cancel to give. So 9G take 2G is 7G equals 17A, which means that A equals 7G over 17. And we've got the acceleration there. Let's put a box around it. Make sure that the examiner knows that it's part of our answer. And as with all of these things, I should remember that units are important in final answers. So, 
meters per second squared. So now to find the tension, well, if I look back to the first equation, uh, I see that T take 2G, so A is T take 2G equals 2 lots of the acceleration equals 2 times 7G over 17, which means that T equals 14G over 17 plus 2G equals, and pop it in the calculator, so 14 times 9.8, 14G over 17 plus 2 lots of G, 2 lots of 9.8 equals 27.7, 27.7 Newtons to three significant figures. And let's put a box around the answer again. Always make the answers prominent. So that's that tension there. Finally, to get the final tension, let's use equation C to get the value of U. So equation C, we have 9G take U is 9A, where A we worked out previously as 7G over 17. So simplifying that, 9G minus U equals 63G over 17. And if we take U here, add it to the other side, take 63G over 17 to the other side, we get 9G take 63G over 17 equals U, which is equal to, and let's put in the calculator, 9G take 63G over 17 equals 51.9 newtons. 51.9 newtons to three significant figures. And let's put a box around that. There's a small point of modification here. If A, I wanted to give to three significant figures, I should go back and calculate that. So 7G, 7 times 9.8 over 17 is 4.04 .04 Newtons. And putting a box around that. However, I stand by that, that I did the right thing earlier not to round the three significant figures up until this point. Because if we're going to sub this into the other equations, we want to make sure that this is correct to at least three significant figures. So I stand by using the 7G over 17 meters per second squared. But final answers can, unless asked for an exact answer, be rounded to three significant figures. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, please click the thumbs up at the bottom.